I don't know if I can do this today. <clears throat> I don't know if I have it in me to do this today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is brought to you by the worst sounding voice on the planet. Um, I am currently fighting the flu, and although the makeup hides, all secrets and lies. Um, yeah, I am incredibly sick. Anyway, on a happier note, today's video is going to be the start of a new project pan. I did want to do this with a friend of mine here on YouTube. Her name is Love Lulu. She also has a fantastic Instagram. She has a very well-rounded kind of personal blog style Instagram where she covers things like food and lifestyle and makeup and she also is a project panner. So it just kind of worked out that I was attracted to her. I will link all of her information down below. Don't forget to check her out. She's such a sweetheart. And let's dive into the actual project pan. So this project is going till December 31st. It is the 12 pans of Christmas, like I said. So we chose 12 products to hit goals on. We decided because this is such a short-term project pan, we were going to go with either minis, samples, or like peeping pan, things that are almost used up. So that way we actually have a chance to get through some of our stuff by the end of this project. So I'm going to dive right in and show you guys what 12 products I chose. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. If you have come over from her channel, thank you for hanging out with me, and I hope you decide to stick around. I promise I don't always sound this nasally. Call me Fran Drescher today, girl. All right, well, let's move into the actual products before I pass out on video. Okay, so the first product that I chose for my 12 pans of Christmas is this pencil, and this is the Nick wonder pencil in the shade light so basically all it is it's like it's like a multi-use pencil oh I just kind of use it to clean up my brows um it is pretty close to being done I'm actually pretty proud of it it is exactly one and a half cap lengths high I will mark this on a piece of paper after this video right now I'm just trying to get through this before I end up like passing out on the floor no exaggeration so my goal is to use this completely up by the end of December the next product that I chose for this project pan is a set of two I do this with a lot of my project pans because I have so many of these I chose two of my perfume fragrance samples things why can't I speak? Anyway, this one is by Hermes, and this is the Eau de Citron Noir. So I wish I could tell you what it smelled like, but I can't smell a damn thing. Anyway, this one is right about there. Again, I will mark it as soon as this video is done. I would like to use this completely up, as well as the Kat Von D Sinner uh, perfume sample. This one is also about halfway at the moment, so I will... Um, mark these and we will try to hopefully finish both of those up. The next product that I chose is this loose powder by Avon. It's actually the Smooth Minerals Radiant Veil. Um, I don't know what to call this. It's not an under eye setting powder. It's not a finishing powder. It's not a translucent powder. It's kind of like a veil that you just sweep over your face and it gives a little bit of luminosity. It's not glittery or shimmery. It just gives a really pretty like sheen to the skin. So as you can see down the bottom here, I have it right here. It used to be in a project pan, as you can probably tell, um, but I didn't quite get to it. So this is all that's left, but you don't need very much. So this will actually probably last me the full two months of this project pan. We'll see. The next product I have is another powder. This one is actually a pressed powder, and it is by Sephora. It is the Sephora Matte Perfection Powder Foundation in the shade 14 Neutral Linen. So as you can see, and pardon the packaging, it's so gross, it's really hard to keep these packaging clean. Um, you can see in the pan that I do have a dip going on on this side quite a bit, but it's pretty even throughout. I mean, the whole pan is very, very low. This next product is the Lancome Monsieur Big Deluxe Size Mascara. I have been using this for about three weeks now so far, so I figured by the time this project's over, I'm like swinging this around like a weapon. I figured by the time this project's over, it'll be about time to get rid of this. So no matter what, it'll be done by the end of December. Yeah. The next product that I have is by Fresh, and this is the Sugar Advanced Lip Treatment. And I don't know if it's a scent or anything. This smells like lemons. I know that. I can't smell anything. I know it smells like lemons though. Um, so anyway, this little skinny little thing is a lip balm and it's a fantastic lip balm, by the way. Um, so that's where we're at. I'll just measure it on the cap at this point. So we are at the bottom of the G in sugar. I would like to use this up. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to because this really does go a long way. The next product that I have is by Belief and this is the Moisturizing Eye Balm. Now, this is another one of those products that you don't need much at all. I've actually been using this for almost a year at this point and I'm still like right there. So there's still a little bit left in there. So I'm going to try to use that guy completely up. The next product that I have is by Bare Minerals and this is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. And I know I already have a loose powder, so I'm kind of like, eh, should I or should I not? But we're going to see how this goes. This is the same style as that Avon powder where it's more of a finishing powder. So we'll see how it goes. I don't know if I'll be able to get through both of them, but we're going to have to try because I have way too many powders in my collection. This one's actually brand new. I've never even used it, but I mean, obviously to start with, they're not brand new. It's exactly halfway. So it's sitting right here. I will again mark this after the video, but <clears throat> we're going to try to get through that one too. The next product that I have is by Makeup Forever, and this is the Ultra HD Perfector Blurring Skin Tint, um, and it's in the shade 06. 
This is like a BB cream, CC cream style of product. The trouble I'm going to have with this is that it is way darker than my actual skin tone. So it's far more like pink and I have a very neutral to yellow undertone. So I'm going to have to use this as a mixer. We'll have to see how it goes. Um, it seems like the texture is really, really nice. But again, if it's too dark, not going to do me any favors. But we're going to try to get through that one too. We're also going to get through this guy because I'm about tired of it. <laughs> This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. This is so cakey on me. I don't know what it is. I hear Tati rave about it. I hear all kinds of people rave about this foundation. It makes me look like a cakey mess. I don't like it. So I thought is because this is the right shade for me, a little bit on the light side, this one's too dark. I'm going to try mixing them and make my perfect combo. We'll see how that goes. This one I can't track because it's like completely opaque. So it's probably sitting right about here. So I mean, it's not a lot, but you don't need much of this. This is super crazy high pigment, super full coverage. So we'll see if I can get through that. The last two products are both sprays of sorts. Um, I do have another perfume. I know, I'm going crazy. But this is by Estee Lauder. This is the Modern Muse perfume. This is the full size, but I only have a tiny, tiny bit left. Obviously, I really like it. So that's all I have left in there. Um, still quite a bit because this is one of those fragrances that you only have to spray like once and it lasts all day long. It's more of a mature scent. Why am I trying to smell it? Why am I trying to smell it? Um, but I would like to finish this completely up and just get another full-size bottle out of my collection And last but not least we have my beloved urban decay all-nighter setting spray This one is right about here. We are here. I'll change my mindset We are gonna get through this and all these other things We're gonna clear all of these out of my collection because that's the goal So that is my last product for the 12 pans of Christmas I'm so sorry you guys for my voice in this video for the way I look in this video for the way the lighting might be in this video It actually snowed outside last night we have like two inches of snow it's october early october like mother nature did you not get the memo that it's october either way so i apologize for any discrepancies in this video compared to any of my other ones but hopefully i'll be on the mend soon and be back to filming regularly i just i don't have it in me right now i guys i just don't thank you guys so much for coming by if you have not subscribed yet don't forget to jump down and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you are notified whenever i do decide to upload videos where i don't sound like the crypt keeper if you have not gone and checked out love lulu definitely don't forget to go do that before you leave as well she is such a sweetheart i absolutely love her she's such a fantastic blogger youtuber i think she's gonna go really really far and i'm so happy to be able to do this project with her so thank you guys so much again for watching definitely give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and if you want me to feel better give me a thumbs up if you want me to feel better I want me to feel better and I will see you guys on the next video bye guys